We back, baby. I'm just doing cardio. I know it's dark. I apologize. Hold. Okay, I fixed. Okay, so just doing cardio this morning. It is August 20th. My best motorcycle friend, Jimmy, I'm sorry for the TV, it's too loud and I'm not near the remote, is getting married today. So I'm just getting my cardio in before I have to get ready for his wedding. And then I'm going to take you guys along with me. I have a charged battery, I believe. And then we'll see what the day brings. I got kind of actually a lot in store. Besides the wedding, the reception, there's, I have an event in between. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm going to try and figure it out. But since the, <laughs> the last check in, I'll do like a, a condo tour soon <laughs> again. But um, the poster store hooked me up with some posters. So you'll see those in the background there. And I'll have a discount code for you. I don't know when it's going to go live. But. Hopefully I get this video up in time. I'm trying to like start fresh with the vlogging and get shit done for you. But anyway, I gotta keep my heart rate up so I gotta go. No wasting time here. And I'll check you guys in a bit. Okay. <laughs> I just finished cardio. I don't know if you can tell, but just walking cardio, sweaty, but I kept my heart rate up. Anyway, anywho. Um, the doggies are waiting for W-A-L-K, so I'm gonna get walk them and get ready for this wedding, because it's so freaking early at Casa Loma. I have to see how long it's gonna take me to get to Casa Loma. Anyways, bye. Oh my god, I'm only leaving the house uh, 15 minutes later than I wanted to. Um, the wedding... <laughs> is like in an hour and 15 minutes and I gotta get all the way to Casa Loma. I pray that the traffic gods are going to be good to me. Where am I? Charge me up train and try. One awesome day. This is Audible. Yeah. Harper Audio Audible. I'm in the garage, it's not gonna work. But we'll have that ready for when we get out of the garage. Okay, we'll put you over here because we're gonna have a quick chitty, chitty chat in a while. Okay, so August 20th is the day. I did not get up as early as I wanted to and then I was just like really slow moving. Uh, Jimmy, my motorcycle bestie, I think he's been on the vlog a long, long time ago. He helped me move a couple of times. He is one of my, I would say best friends. I wouldn't say closest, but that's only because I don't really keep a lot of people close, if you know what I mean. My friend Christine's always like, why don't you do this with this person? Why don't you do that with that person? I'm like, I don't message them like that. Forty-nine minutes. We Gucci. Okay, here we go. Starting route to Casa Loma. Wedding time. Harper Audio presents. Stop playing. At the next light, turn right. Okay. Um. So the wait. subtle art of not. I've already listened to that. Why are you replaying? At the light, turn right onto Waterdown Road. I also know where I'm giving a fuck. Stop a playing. Why? Why are you playing? Like why? I don't even want you to open. I've already listened to you. Yo, audible. At the light, turn right onto a lane brick way. Okay, guys, so this keeps coming in and out of focus, so I apologize. <sighs> Jimmy's wedding. So I have Jimmy's wedding, which starts at 10.30 in the morning. I couldn't imagine a bride. Like, what time did you have to get up and get ready for your wedding? Like, no, absolutely not. Why is there traffic right now? Go past this light. 
Then at the next one, turn left. Bitch, I know. I know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> GPS is not giving. Okay, so. Jimmy's wedding, Casa Loma, 1030. I assume it's a Catholic wedding. At the light, use the left lane to merge onto Highway 403 East toward Toronto. I don't know, he's Portuguese. It's kind of weird that he's getting married to me, like, this one time, like, when I was, I had broken up with Chris, and I was like, no, it was before Chris. Wow. It was before I was dating Chris. Wow. So anyway, Jimmy and I went for this ride to Niagara Falls, and we were crossing the bridge. It was really late at night. It was really beautiful. There was, like, no traffic. Jimmy like stops his motorcycle because I'm like passing her. I'm like, why are you stopping? Like, what the fuck? And he's like, for 25 kilometers, continue straight. How to drive. Um, and uh, Jimmy's like, will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> and I was like, absolutely not. No. Like, I don't see him like that. He is just like, he's just Jimmy. He's my Jimmy. That's the best way to describe it. Like, he's my Jimmy. So, anyways. It's kind of weird that he's getting married and he kind of pulled a fast one on me all of a sudden he's like i'm engaged i'm like i didn't even know you were dating anybody but okay i've never met this girl but good for him you know all the power to him as long as he's happy if he's happy i'm happy i expressed my concerns to him that was that we moved on but he said he's a great guy i'm really happy that he's happy so his wedding's at 10.30, and then I have this event called Rosé All Day at Woodwine Park, so I'm gonna go to that after the wedding while they're like doing their like wedding party photo shit. And then his um, reception is not until 5.30. So I'm gonna go to the Rosé All Day thing, I hope I can get there. The CNE is also going on, so I know traffic's gonna be a biatch. But anyway, so we're gonna do Casa Loma. Rose all day, and then Jimmy's reception. And then, I don't know how long I'm gonna stay at the reception. We will see. We will see. I'm not a big wedding person. I'm just, the only reason I'm going, the only reason I, I actually flake on a lot of weddings, and I apologize to anybody who I've said I was coming, and I flake. People are like, why don't you say no? I'm like, I feel like I can't say no because they're my friends. Anyways, I'm making an effort do the right thing although I did say plus one and I, I don't have a plus one I, I said it because when they ask you like a year in advance for weddings it's like well I don't know maybe I will be dating somebody I should have fucking known of course I'm not dating anybody like <sighs> there's a few hopefuls on the roster but clearly they're just still on the roster so single Alicia anyway you know you know so we are 9.21, the arrival time to that, according to this. Wow, that guy's fine. Um, 10.04, so I will be early. I am happy about that. I do need gas at some point today because I only have 200 kilometers right now. It is what it is. But yeah, um, at some point I'm gonna have to come home and let the dogs out. I assume I will have time after Jimmy's wedding reception. Um, and then I might go out, out and I don't know. I might not, I might just chill. Maybe I'll find somebody to come to the wedding reception with me. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, so today we're gonna go to that and I'll drag you guys along for as much as I can. But right now I'm going to drive. <laughs> I cleared the SD card so we have lots of space. Camera seems to be okay. I need a new one again. Actually, not again. You know, like I feel like vloggers don't really talk about how often they have to go through cameras. But I 100% need a new one. But I want to invest in a really good one. The one I want is like $1,600. So we'll see how that goes. You know. But anyways, I'm gonna sign out, listen to some music, and go to my best friend's wedding. Maybe, maybe someday I'll have my own. So 
speaking of Chris, this is the condo on Spadina. It's four K Spadina where I used to live with Chris. Right downtown and you can't see it, but the CN Tower is over there. If you know anything about Toronto. Let me pause this so I don't get copyrighted, but yeah. This is the old hood that I'm trying to come back to. I wanna be back downtown. I'm not ready to like be out in the burbs and I'm just the world's open now like fuck COVID like I don't need to be out out there in Burlington I only kind of want to be out there just to train legs which is originally what I was supposed to be doing anyway is training legs out there so hopefully I can find a new place soon rather than later because I'd rather move now than in the winter so that's what's up and yeah this, fuck this dog park. I used to take Adonis here all the time and everyone always had an issue with Adonis here, so fuck that guy. But, we're here, almost there, like 10 minutes away. Glasses on. Oh, I need caffeine. I had a coffee, but I need more. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, at least I'm on time. <laughs> And I'm attending by myself, but whatever. Take care of yourself, baby girl. You don't need no buddy. Rymel Tapia lives in this building. Fuck him, though. Last time I saw him was during Caravana, and I let him know how I felt. <laughs> Haven't heard from him since. He's also has a fiance or a wife or whatever that he claims he doesn't have, but she was just here. I'm telling you. <laughs> My life is pure comedy. I usually don't talk about that kind of stuff, but like, that has me mad. Okay, so Casa Loma, where this wedding is, this area is kind of like close to the Jew brohood. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of Jewish people here, and I actually used to, when I used to do in-person clients, I had a lot of clients up here. A lot of regular clients, steady clients, good paying clients, back in the day. Um, so I am very familiar with this area, however, I've actually only driven by Castle Loma. It's kind of like right up, actually right up there. Um, we get going to obviously drive. Um, I've, I've only driven by, I've never actually been in or around or whatever. At the light, turn right onto Walmer Road, then turn right into the parking lot. I'm so freaking impressed with myself that I'm here for this wedding early. Like, I'm going to be on time. Will the wedding start on time? I don't know. But I am here, and I'm happy about that. Turn right into the parking lot, then arrive at your destination. Arrived. To the castle. <laughs> hey Siri, text Anne. What do you want to say? Hey, are you at Casa Loma today? Your message to Anne says, Hey, are you at Casa Loma today? Ready to send it? Yes. Your message to Anne says, Hey. Okay, it's sent.
I'm here for the Barra's Patio wedding. Wedding, okay, make circle here. Yeah. Right, next parking. Oh, okay. Wow. Maybe you should learn how to draw it. And just like that, Jimmy is married. Now I'm just like exploring the grounds. I've actually never been to Casa Loma, but it's like really beautiful here. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to find Jimmy one more time. Also, his bride is so beautiful. I did, the camera, or the wedding was like no pictures and stuff, so hopefully during the reception, I'll be able to like show you guys what she looks like and her dress, because it's like princess dress, super beautiful. Um, yeah, beautiful outside. Now I am actually just gonna walk around. I'm also quite literally having my own photo shoot here, but that's okay because <laughs> we can do things on our own. Honestly, Castle Loma is super pretty, but I am not here for that kind of view. So, sand tower, super pretty. People would enjoy themselves. It could not be put to a better use. I am satisfied. He was the man. My best friend's married. <laughs> That's so crazy. They're just doing their wedding photos. Okay, because I have time to kill, I stopped for a matcha. I just like drove by this like random like cafe. Um, it's cafe versus. It just looked really cute. And there's a little Frenchie. I wish I had. Way over there. She. Do you see her? Miss me, Miss Sammy. I like miss my dogs all the time. Um, but the wedding was really nice. It was very quick, which I enjoyed. And then I spent some time exploring uh, the grounds by myself. Um, I took some content on my phone or whatever, but I have some time to kill until like, uh, this uh, rose event. And then the dinner and the reception for the wedding is not till 5.30, so I have like tons of time. I meant to bring a second dress and I didn't. 
Um, uh, right now I am close to the eating center, but I don't think I'm gonna just go buy another dress. Like, I don't care that much. I can't believe I forgot it. I also forgot the wedding card. I'm a terrible wedding guest, so note to you guys, don't invite me to your wedding. I'm also a terrible vlogger, like, I forgot a tripod for this camera, but I brought one for my phone. Like, really? So I'm trying to see even my purse. I brought this, like, coach purse that I've actually never used. I guess that's okay. Okay, so, I'm now at the Eaton Center Killing Time, and being in public like this, I know this is gonna sound really mean, but like reminds me that how bad how bad the average person really eats because who would eat any of this food like no wonder everybody has cancer okay like i'm sounding really mean but like honestly what the fuck like really what is the fuck it's blurry okay whoops just dropped the camera um, I wanted to go one other place that was here. I also need to find a washroom to change into. And Starbucks is this place, so that's what we're gonna do next is Starbucks. Hello to these. I also feel like people think that when you have a camera like this that you're a tourist. It's been a long time since I like vlogged in public, but I actually really don't care. Or like in public like this, but I just want to bring you guys along for the day, so here we are. Okay, I just bought this outfit for the next event because it's like rosé all day, so it's like white or pink. Um, and so I'm going to go with white just to get out of that dress for a little while because I'm going to get back in the dress before I go to the wedding reception at 5.30. Um, but I just didn't want to like sweat because I'm going to be out in the sun because this is like a picnic um, outside so I didn't want to sweat in the dress because I'm going to put the dress back on because I forgot to bring the other dress for the reception. So we're going to wear this to the event and then switch back into the dress before the reception. And yeah, hope my dogs are okay. Um, it's 1.30. I'm going to start walking to my car now because I'm going to meet Christina at 2.30. Okay, we are back to the car. I'm just... uh in my makeup a little bit and then I'm going to head to the next event finally Christina should be on her way she's meeting me there it's already started but the event goes like all day so that is that Stupid. Not having a different outfit. So I was like, <laughs> let me change. I also need to figure out my own schedule for when Tiff comes because one of my other besties is coming. Um, she has a couple movies playing for Tiff. She is a casting director. I did her dirty, her wedding. I did not go. That was shocking. Sorry, can't say that name. For reasons I cannot mention on the internet why I couldn't go. Because if I went, it would have been an issue. But anyway. I'm gonna go park near the event, closer to the event. It's not that far away, so I'll catch you guys when I get there. But do you like just white shorts and this? Because it's bloody hot out. It is so, so, so hot out. I hope my lips look okay. I miss my dogs. <sighs> okay, so now I'm just walking to meet Christina. I've been waiting for her, but she couldn't find parking, I guess. So anyway, I'm just walking towards the event. My coffee dripped off me, so like operation can't wear white, but whatever. At least my tits look good, I think. I hope. It is what it is at this point. But yeah, we're going there. We're on Eastern Avenue in Toronto. There's like some cool, like graffiti. Like depending on how long you stay at the event, like I might come here and just take some photos by myself. I've been trying to do that lately, actually. 
I wish I had the stand for this guy, but that's okay. At least. Snap speed. There's a lot of cool artwork. <laughs> we could have just walked away. Literally, that's what I'm gonna start doing at events from now on. Oh, like so and so's bringing my ticket. Where's the medic? Paramedic. <laughs> like, he's yeah, he's just sitting there. to like come out. Okay, it's hot out. I just left Christina. I'm gonna go back to my car and then I am going to get probably another Starbucks and then I'm going to head to Jimmy's reception. It's four o'clock now. The reception's at 5.30 in Mississauga. Last time I checked it was like Gonna be 48 minutes drive there and I just have to change. So yeah, so we're gonna do that. It's like I'm so hot and sweaty. Like I'm sure I freaking stink, but whatever. I got a few like free freebies. But other than that, nothing exciting. And it, like honestly the event was like mostly chicks. Kind of what sucks about going to these things like in Toronto is like always fucking chicks. There's like no dudes. It's like whatever. And then I got the tickets for free, but I heard that they were actually like expensive, but I wouldn't pay shit to go there. That's for sure. Oh. But my phone's dying. And I just gotta walk back to the parking. Oh yeah, I want to take pictures by these murals. We'll see. Y'all, y'all, the traffic going into the city because of the CNE. Can y'all see that? I turn my music down so you can see it. I, I don't think you understand. We are all the way back to Etobicoke, like my old hood, and the traffic is backed up wall to wall to wall to wall to wall to wall. I swear, if I was coming from my house, it would take me like two and a half, three hours just to get downtown in that. It's even backed out to Park Lawn. Like, where do these people think they're going? That's wild. Girl, no. I also need gas. I feel like I am probably barely gonna make it to my destination with the amount of gas that I have, but we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, about that. Absolutely not. Why am I not surprised that Jimmy's bike is here? <laughs> 